tonight and only on KSL, an emotional reunion. And a snowmobile are lucky to be alive after spending last night lost in that snowstorm. Yeah, he was separated from his group yesterday near Bear Lake on the Utah-Idaho border. New specialist Ashley Moser join us live right now from Preston, Idaho, with a story of how he managed to survive. Ashley? Well, Mike, just an amazing story here. 20-year-old Casey had been spent nearly 24 hours in those below freezing temperatures. He was checked out here at the Franklin County Medical Center, surrounded by friends and family who just hours ago thought maybe they'd never see him again. And they come down and tell me they found him and he's fine. A relieving moment for family as they learn their son is safe. Found after a night in the elements. Oh my the stranded snowmobiler immediately taken to the hospital. <laughs> the Preston resident says he was with a group of friends near Liberty Creek when they got separated. When I called for help, I was explained in the wrong place. As the night went on, he knew he needed to find warmth. So I just flipped my sled over and lit it up. After nearly 24 hours, I knew I had to do something to stay warm throughout the night. Signs that crews were searching for him. I'd wake up just hoping it was light every time and it wouldn't be. I'm like, oh. Eventually, they found him in his makeshift cave. Get in there, baby! The 20-year-old now dealing with the consequences, possible frostbite. Might lose some toes, or a toe and some toenails, but it's not too bad. It could be worse. Sleeping in warmth tonight after an experience he'll never forget. Definitely be more prepared. So I had no supplies with me. All I had was a lighter. I had no food, no drinks, no nothing. Casey was released from the hospital, checked out by doctors. He will be meeting with other doctors tomorrow to see if he needs to remove one of those toes uh, due to frostbite. But guys, I, I talked to him and I asked him, was there any point that you lost hope here? He says before Cruz got to him about an hour before, he started to lose hope, but thankfully he was found. Back to you. And you could sure hear his family's relief. Ashley, thanks.